Bacteriophages, viruses of bacteria, usually exhibit a narrow host range. However, bacteria in nature reside mostly in multi-species communities comprising phage-sensitive and phage-resistant cells. Therefore, we asked what will be the fate of phage infection in a mixed population of sensitive and resistant bacteria. To address this question, we have utilized as a model system the gram-positive soil bacterium Bacillus subtilis and its double-stranded lytic phage SPP1. Lytic phages bind to the host surface receptor, inject their DNA, exploit the host machinery to produce phage components, then they destroy and lyse the cell, releasing new phage particles. As a first step, we mix b cells, lacking the SPP1 receptor, which are resistant to infection, with sensitive wild-type cells harboring the intact receptor. Surprisingly, the viability of resistant cells in the mixed culture clearly decreased after infection. One possible scenario is that lytic enzymes released upon phage burst are lysing nearby resistant cells. This process, previously termed lysis from without, however, the extent of this phenomenon has been mostly neglected. To investigate this possibility, we constructed SPP1 phage harboring a YFP labeled lysine protein. You can see here the expression of the lysine upon phage infection and the consequent cell lysis. Upon release, the lysine was also detected around nearby uninfected cells, suggesting that LO is a possible mechanism. Closer investigation of our data revealed that occasionally resistant cells were actually invaded by phages only when they were incubated with sensitive cells. We term this phenomenon of resistant cells infected by phages in mixed culture ESEN for acquisition of sensitivity. Since ESEN involves phage invasion to resistant cells, it could potentially facilitate transduction and consequently horizontal gene transfer events in complex communities in nature. To examine this possibility, we tested the ability of resistant cells to acquire new genetic material via transduction. Basatilis cells carrying a highly transduced plasmid were infected with SPP1 and the obtained lysate was employed to infect a mix of sensitive and resistant population. Indeed, transduction into resistant cells could be detected only when there were co-culture with sensitive cells. Our next question was, can SM be mediated by exchange of phage receptors between sensitive and resistant cells? To directly investigate this possibility, we devised a way to label phages. They can be seen here as little red dots that bind the sensitive cells. Sometimes we could clearly detect phage attachment to resistant cells, but only when they were mixed with sensitive cells. Moreover, we could detect phage binding to non-host species only when co-incubated with the sensitive Bacillus subtilis. We provide evidence that such an exchange of surface molecules is mediated by membrane vesicles that are released from the bacterial surface. Using ImmunoEM, we could detect phage receptors that are being carried by membrane vesicles. Further, we could visualize phage binding to membrane vesicles. In this study, we show that the presence of phage-sensitive population within the bacterial community could dramatically impact population dynamics via LO and SN mechanisms. Thank you for watching us. We hope that you will enjoy reading our paper.